Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, if it's your first time here, my name is Nicola and I'm an illustrator from Yorkshire in England. And this week's vlog is basically talking about the craft market that I did last Sunday and the results and just basically how it went. <laughs> um, this is just the intro because I realised I hadn't filmed one. So I will see you on the other side where we'll talk about whether I made a profit or broke even or all of that fun stuff and the reality of <laughs> and the reality of doing markets in 2024. Um, I'm also going to talk at the end of the video about the seconds pins and the mystery bundles that I will be releasing tomorrow if you're watching this on Wednesday when it's released. Um, Thursday the 25th of April if you're watching this after there's probably still some left go check them out but you will see exactly what I'm doing at the end after the market stuff. I will see you in a bit. sure what it's chatting about but it's had a communication error no <sighs> it's market day the car is literally all loaded now i love markets but i feel like i'm gonna vomit up a lung i'm be so nervous so be fine be fine to get there and i've had some food and coffee wish me luck <laughs>
so that is the market i didn't get a huge amount of footage um but i got as much as i could on my phone mm. oh that's gone cold now <laughs> so results because that's what you're here for i broke even <laughs> I, and that's not including obviously when i talk about the markets and things i don't include obviously what it costs to make the items when i'm talking about profit loss all that all that shizzery so this is literally just like the black and white surface level figures broke even the stall fee was 49 pounds i made the stall fee back so i didn't necessarily make back even the parking or the food or the coffee but you know i'm happy i am happy with that because it was a shorter day compared to the last market i did which was in a city center um this went really well the people that stopped by there were so many people that stopped at my stand and spoke to me and that was so lovely like they actually spent time with me and didn't really have that in leeds i had a few funny ones in leeds that would look at my stand and then be like and turn away really fast i think that may be like a city center thing you know sometimes if you go somewhere that's got sales people and you're like no don't come near me just in case because of i suppose like the stereotype of a salesperson um <laughs> and so that was quite interesting to see the difference and it was a nice pleasant sunday it was it was yeah i really enjoyed it so hopefully i will do another one before the end of the year um, i need to decide because there are two there's one in september is there one in november and Saltaire is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site as well. Um, it's beautiful. Like, if you are relatively local, so if you're in the West Yorkshire area, or just Yorkshire, to be honest, it's worth making a nice trip. It's a village that's full of history and art and small businesses. Just the heritage. It's stunning. It's an absolutely stunning place. And Victoria Hall, where the market was, is gorgeous. So there were the results. I would do it again um i just need to decide which one to do i don't know if i'll do both we actually go away in october um so september might be a good one to do but then you've got november and it's christmas so i am trying to decide or oh, whether to to do both and the extra one that i wanted to do in leeds um i did a tiktok showing what i sold I'll tell you here that I sold a Daydreamer bookmark, I sold a New York print, a New York bookstore print, sorry. I sold two greeting cards and I sold a bag, a tote bag, which is always so fun when I sell them. When somebody literally walked past, stopped and backed back up and said to a friend, oh that's so me, and a friend were laughing and then, I think it was a friend, um, and then she literally bought it. She had had no intention of buying today and she bought none of this was on the list. So she literally bought something that wasn't on her list, on her radar, and that bag spoke to her. So that, that was fun. Um, Lick the Bowl. I sold a Lick the Bowl print. So yeah, it was, it was fun and I sold some of my favourite prints and I don't think there's much more to say about it if you've got any questions i mean feel free to leave them in the comments below there's probably something i've missed um if you're just curious yeah just give me a shout and each time i do a market i learn big mistake that i made that i found even though the two prints that i sold were a4 people were asking for a3 and it was the a3 ones that i hadn't taken with me i think i always question what sizes people prefer <clears throat> And so I really, really need to take more A3 and that's the plan for the next one I'm at, which now is June. I didn't have any physical markets planned for June. Um, a couple more dates have popped up and I'm going back to the Corn Exchange in Leeds on a Sunday to see whether there's a difference, see whether I make more sales, less sales. And I suppose this will be like the deciding factor as to whether if any more markets come up at the Corn Exchange, I do corn exchange again um because it's all a learning curve you just need to know where your people are and that's what i'm doing that's what i'm doing this year 
I want to really try and give it my all this year with markets and you know if I'm still getting to the end of the year and only just breaking even I don't know that I'll continue because whilst they're enjoyable days they are long days and I would like to make a profit you know so we will see we will see hopefully by the next market that I have I'll have more products and yeah I'll have the new product collection which I'm not going to talk about this week I might talk about next week or the week after I don't want to bore you with it like eight weeks before I'm going to release it I am hoping putting the light on helps because I'm aware that this corner is um when I go back and edit things it's not the brightest corner but first of all let me talk about the pins the second pin drops that I'm going to have I will unpack one of these and I want to show you an example of the flaws that are going to be in these pins. Um, you see, the, the flaws are so minor. I think there might not be a second, to be honest, that's just got mixed up. The flaws are quite minor, and I want you to have a really good idea of what kind of flaws you're getting into. So I'll get a couple of them out. But the bottom right hand corner, if you can see, a slight grain and discoloration so that's one and it's the same there I really oh God, I'm gonna have trouble actually photographing these aren't I oh I should have left you in this light actually there you go the light in itself is horrendous but you can see the floor So, but as you can see, the flaws aren't um, that noticeable from a distance. So, they aren't horrendous flaws. Oh, come back into focus, please. Yeah. So, bottom right hand corner, that is basically what all the flaws are like, is what I'm saying. I have no idea how that clip's going to turn out, um, but let me tell you about the plans. So the second pins are going to launch themselves and they will be £4.50. All my pins retail at £8, £9 on Etsy, which I'm, I feel awful about, but uh, you'll, you'll find, and this is a tip for any of you that I don't really know if you see a business on Etsy and you really like the look of it see if you've got a website first before you buy it because there's a solid chance that it's going to be much cheaper on their own website because Etsy fees can be quite hefty for some people Etsy is amazing I've got a love-hate relationship with it um, because I'd like to say it brings traffic does its own sourcing and things like that but when I look at my stats I bring that traffic to Etsy which is why I've got my own website. So we've got the pins, the second pins will be dropping Thursday and that's that. Then we have the second mystery pack, which will include stickers, a bookmark, a greeting card and a pin. Okay. And I'm going to show you an example of what will be in them because obviously it's the sticker packs are a surprise. All of it's a surprise, but I want you to know what you're getting. So they will all have four glitter stickers. Don't know what's going on there. Four glitter stickers and two extras. So let me show you this example. So one person will get this. <laughs> so this is an example of one of the packs I have made up. Look at the packs again. This dictates the amount that I've got. So it's five packs there. I have six seconds mystery bundles. Obviously, you've got a Mad Hatter, these are shiny, you know by now that the lighting's a bit rubbish. And these are two that I never released. So this was one I just never released because I didn't particularly like that style of overlay the laminate that I use. This is the laminate that I prefer, that's glittery. Um, this sticker, can you, if you can see the bottom, 
it's not going to focus is it the bottom is just slightly i put it against his pants there so that they're the flaws <laughs> basically and these two i just never released so that's what you're kind of getting in the sticker bundles so you're going to get a sticker bundle a pin let me just grab one of these a, a bookmark it could be this or it could be the biscuits and a greeting card and these will be six pounds fifty for all of this so you're getting a pin stickers bookmark and a card and bearing in mind the seconds pins are four pounds fifty on their own just pop these away while i'm talking to you i have no idea whether this angle is going to be nice or not so i think today's job um i'm going to put a couple of the seconds packs together so they will come in the usual unless you order anything else with it obviously and then it'll come in whatever box it needs to but now i want to talk about the mystery bundles so we've done the seconds seconds packs seconds pins this is a straight up mystery bundle and i'm gonna pack one with you i think i don't know how much to tell you about it does that ruin the mystery? One thing I can tell you is it will be worth £22. So you're getting quite a bit. You're getting a lot of bang for your buck. It won't include a pin. It will not include a pin. So if you're wanting a bit of a bargain pin, you want one of these seconds mystery bundles. And I have six. Let's pack one mystery bundle. One thing I just want to make absolutely clear though um, with these mystery bundles, second bundles, any any type of bundle I will ever do in the future, when it involves a greeting card it will never have um, a parent, a relationship, a sibling, any form of specific person. It won't relate to a specific relationship. Um, they will all be something that you can send to anybody for any occasion or anything they won't yeah they won't be specific to any form of relationship just wanted to make that clear um just in case it would concern anybody okay i decided to pack maybe like three boxes um because i don't i don't want to get too optimistic but ah oh no get these stickers down from here and stop being lazy. Do you like them? I think they're so cute. So I'm gonna oh, stick this on the inside of every lid just to remind people <laughs> that they've actually bought a perfectly imperfect bundle. How cute does that look? a bit boxy of it actually. Let's give them. And I've got some small stickers as well. Oops. So I'm going to seal the sticker packs with a little perfectly imperfect sticker as well. will have no idea what's in these which I, it's actually kind of exciting like I get it <clears throat> like I get why people like these mystery bundles Oops. I know I've said it once and I'll say it again um, me and the cricket we are like that when it comes to sticker sheets die cuts
have come to the end of another week. Next week should be a bit more exciting as in in here. Um, I will show you the things that I've been working on, some more ideas that I've had, some more product ideas that I've had. Um, we might have a restock of a few things and who knows, we could actually have some new products in. But we will, <laughs> I guess we'll find out next week. Um, there are no actual real plans now until we come into June. So we just we're just winging life, <laughs> we're just winging life. But I hope you found today useful. If you do want to get your hands on one of the seconds bundles, I do only have six, like you've seen. Um, if you want a seconds pin, I've got 20. Yes, I've got 20 extra outside of the bundles. So they're fine. And the mystery boxes that have got the notepads, the cards, that kind of thing in it, I have 10 of those. So if you are wanting one of those, um, set your reminders. You can follow me on Instagram where I do post on stories quite a lot. Or you could sign up to the newsletter. I will be sending a newsletter out tomorrow to let everybody know, just to remind them. It will launch at likely 6pm. But I'll leave it in the description below. But until then, thank you so much for watching. If you want to hit the like or comment or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. That will never not give me the ick. Um, but I will hopefully see you all next week and thank you guys.